In this video I'll explain how to create categories based on integers and numerical values using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you two examples and the first example will convert an integer vector to a categorical variable in R. So in this first example we are using the example data that we can create in line two of the code as basement. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object appears, which is called num1. And if you run line three of the code, you can see that our vector object contains nine integer values. Now we can also check the class of our data object by running line five of the code. And in this line of code, we are applying the class function to our data object and as you can see, after running this line of code, our data has the numeric class. So in order to create a categorical variable, we need to use the sFactor function to convert our numerical data to the factor class. And we can do that, as you can see, in line 7 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the sFactor function to our data object. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called cat1. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that a new data object appears at the top right, which is called cat1. And if we run line eight of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a categorical variable, which contains four categories, the values one, three, four, and seven. Note that the categories are named the same as the integers in our input vector. So we can also check the class of this categorical variable by running line 10 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see that now the class of our updated data object is the factor class. So in this first example, I have shown how to convert numerical integers to a categorical variable using the sFactor function. However, I also want to show you how to convert a numerical vector with non-integer values to categories. And this is what I'm doing in lines 12 to 22 of the code. So in line 12 of the code, we are first setting a random seed for reproducibility. So if you run this line of code, you will create exactly the same data as I do in this video. And in line 13 of the code, we are creating 100 randomly distributed values and we are storing these values in another data object, which is called num2. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see that a new data object appears at the top right, which is called num2. And we can have a look at the first six values of this data object by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector with numerical values. And you can also see that this time the values are not integers. So if we want to convert this data object to a categorical variable, we can use the code that you can see in lines 16 to 21. So first in line 16, I'm creating a new empty categorical variable, which is called cat2. So if you run line 16 of the code, you can see that a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called cat2. And now we are assigning to this variable integer values for certain ranges. So for example, in line 17 of the code, we are assigning the value one to each element where the input vector num2 is smaller than minus one. So if you run line 17 of the code, the data object is updated. In line 18 of the code, I am assigning the value two to all vector elements where the input vector num2 is larger or equal to minus one and where the input vector num2 is smaller than zero. And in lines 19 and 20, I'm specifying other conditions. So after running lines 16 to 20 of the code, we have created a new data object which contains integer values instead of the non-integer values of our input vector. And then, as I have already did in the first example, we can use the sFactor function to convert this numerical data to a categorical variable. So after running line 21 of the code, our data object is updated once again, and we can print the first values of our categorical variable to the RStudio console by running line 22 of the code. 
And then you can see that we have created another categorical variable, which has the factor levels one, two, three, and four. So in this video, I have explained how to create categories based on integers and numerical data in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.